from this video we will know concept of equivalent section or transform section gradual in my last video i discussed about the type of view in case you missed this video then definitely go to playlist section or you click this i button go and check out the last video hello friend i am sammedi back to with another lecture regarding r to the video series first understand what is equivalent section one more thing from this video anal analysis part will be started so i want to go very slowly if you want you play this video 1.5x or 1.3x okay first we draw the diagram because without drawing civil engineering is incomplete in this di diagram there is a two part one is concrete part and other is steel part okay concrete part means this and steel part means this okay equivalent section or transform section means area of concrete is how much of area of steel now area of concrete is how much of area of steel or you can say area of steel is how much of area of concrete remember one thing when we are in small classes we remember one thing we can add the two same product we can multiply it two same product we can subtract same product same thing these are two different product so how we can design simultaneously so either we have to convert concrete to the steel otherwise we convert steel to the concrete this basic thing is known as this basic thing known as equivalent section or transform section transform section means a concrete section transform to steel section or a steel section transform to the concrete section clear now we gradually dip down the beautiful analysis part so before starting the analysis part one thing you should remember assumption you should never forget the assumption see one thing i mentioned bonding between concrete and steel are perfect so 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 as per assumption bonding between concrete and steel perfect if their bonding is perfect 
then then their strain nature their stress nature should be same so from this we can say strain in concrete equal to strain in steel that is the line from where analysis part is down this is the last line after that the mathematics will take the whole position so still strain in concrete that means epsilon concrete equal to epsilon steel clear now we know that sigma equal to e into epsilon then we can write sigma concrete equal to e concrete into epsilon concrete or we can say sigma steel equal to e steel into epsilon steel clear okay then we can write here epsilon concrete that means sigma concrete by e concrete young's modulus concrete that equal to sigma steel e steel where epsilon represents strain sigma represents normal stress e is your young's modulus so from this we can write epsilon steel divided by epsilon concrete equal to sigma steel by sigma concrete okay ratio this ratio known as your m that m stands for modular ratio that is young's modulus of steel by young's modulus of concrete so from this we write sigma steel equal to equal to n into sigma concrete oh, that is the first representation of transform section now you can ask me you told me the about this area then where is it sigma means sigma means sigma means force per area where a is your force a is your cross section area c then i can write sigma concrete equal to force by area concrete and sigma steel equal to force by area of steel okay then here is force per area of steel that is equal to m into force by area of concrete force applied on a body is const constant and that same force also act on concrete and that same force acting on steel so if it cancel out 
So I can say area of concrete equal to m of area of steel. So do you find your area transform section? This is the number two expression of transform section. So this is the concept of equivalent section or transform section. Hope this is clear to you. If have, you have any doubt, do comment in comment section. No analysis for computer. Now applied time because engineering is applied mechanics, applied physics, applied mathematics. Now we apply. So we will find a section like this. Then definitely load equal to load in concrete plus load in steel. Okay. Then I can say I can say this force means sigma area of concrete and this is equal to sigma steel into area of steel and definitely total area equal to area of concrete plus area of steel ok So, F equal to we can write sigma concrete into A concrete plus sigma steel equal to sigma steel equal to M into sigma concrete into area of steel then f equal to sigma concrete area of concrete plus m into area of steel this is one equation either you can write in term of steel, sigma concrete means sigma steel divided by m into area concrete plus sigma steel plus area steel. Then you should take common sigma steel area of concrete divided by modular ratio plus area of steel. It is simple simplification, nothing like that. Also from this you can write force equal to sigma concrete, area concrete plus m into a minus ac because you know that total area equal to concrete plus steel. So, F equal to sigma concrete, A concrete plus A into modular ratio minus A into AC. That's it. Or you can say right here sigma concrete equal to the fourth part area concrete plus m into area steel and this is the a equivalent section so sigma concrete equal to a by a you can do on your own lots of simplification you can do you have lots of option yeah this is a short video 
regarding concept of hidden transaction in case you have some doubt do comment in comment section i will definitely get back to you if you want to this note then in description there is a process how to find the note if you find some value from my video then like the video share the video with your friends circle and subscribe the channel because this is motivate me for making such kind of content for you and yeah thank you for watching this video in next video we will really talk about the talk about the diagram for analysis of bill yeah with this said goodbye take care see you soon